So I want to cover a few topics of why anyone should go into the sun, why everyone should go into the sun and get more sun because you probably don't get enough sun if you are a general American or live in Western society or live in a blue lit world uh, in Asian cultures uh, looking at your phone all the time and disrupting your circadian rhythm. So let's talk about the first reason of why you should go into the sun is because it protects against cancer even skin cancer and you're like what that's crazy I don't believe that so correlation of long-term studies have shown that b people who are in the Sun more often and it could be correlated to vitamin D levels but it can also be correlated just as Sun time have lower incidences 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 of melanoma and cancer they also have lower incidences of prostate cancer, breast cancer, um, colon cancer, uh, lymphomas. So that's just one reason is the first one to, to totally throw a curveball. Uh, the next one is it decreases overall inflammation. And we talked about a few minutes ago how it decreases inflammation of or it creates uh, acute inflammation, but that causes downregulation of inflammation overall by producing anti-inflammatory cytokines and regulatory cytokines. So it's going to uh, increase like interleukin-4 and interleukin-10 and uh, TGF-beta, which help uh, regulate inflammation. Number three, the sun helps produce neurotransmitters, which we talked about before, and it works well against pain. So your body will produce something called beta endorphin when you're running and exercising, and that's what's called the runner's high. Well, you can also produce the exact same thing by just looking out into the sun, and that's why people can become addicted to going out into the sun. It's actually a reinforcement mechanism, so People are like, what do you want to do today? It's such a beautiful day. We should go out to the beach or we should go out to the pool or we should go out like somewhere outside. And it's because you get that beta endorphin, that natural high feeling from just going outside. Number four, the sun is, well, it helps produce hormones like vitamin D and alpha MSH. And those are very important. Uh, the sun creates active vitamin D, first of all. All right, number four, the sun creates hormones for you naturally, like UVB will stimulate alpha MSH. Just by seeing it will stimulate that. Uh, it will stimulate vitamin D, and not just vitamin D like that you get like in milk, but vitamin D or supplements is the, the active form of vitamin D that works on the, the vitamin D receptor that has a plethora of benefits all over the body. I'm going to leave you with one last point on why to go into the sun and get more sun and why you can't supplement for it. Uh, and I'll have you read on later. Uh, you can check on my website, mybiohack.com, if you want to read more about the sun because I've got way more benefits and mechanisms there on what, how vitamin D, uh, not vitamin D, how the sun works. Uh, but the last one is the sun is correlated with a decreased chance in death. So a lower chance of all-cause mortality. So people who stay in the sun longer live longer. So if you want to stay on this planet a little bit longer, go out and hang out in the sun. And yeah, it also improves your circadian rhythm and sleep and is antimicrobial, enhances your eyesight, cognition. Uh, feel good hormones, yeah, all that kind of good stuff. But that's all on the website, mybiohack.com, so check it out there. And let's get on to the next topic.